I'm a big fan of algo trading. In the short way, this is the program that will trade instead of you based on some algorithm rule of trading strategy. Some people calling it expert advisors and other bots or trading robots, but in general it's the same algo trading. I can make like one hour long video with explanation why I really think that algo trading this is the best way how you can generate money or invest in 2024. But the main two reason that for me making huge difference between the algo trading and manual trading this is the ability to do the back test and optimizations and if you are a subscriber of my uh, youtube channel if not highly recommend to subscribe right now you might saw before that i'm showing some trading strategy and in that i'm telling you we create bot based on this if you want i can send it to you for free but you should open an account in my partner forex broker company and some people they still they don't understand what's the difference between the back test optimization and how can I use this file of the trading bot for me to get some benefits what the, what kind of benefits how I can make money based on this file program file so in today's video I want to show you some tutorial how to install trading bot on your account what's the difference between back test and optimization I will show you how to do the optimization and in the end how you can make money on it this is it so let's start but watch this video until the end because after that your like level of knowledge and trading in general will be on totally different stage in comparison with people that are just trading many so let's start in my latest youtube video i show you the trading strategy calling one good trade if you didn't see this video i highly recommend you to watch but there i show you the simple trading strategy but even with it you are able to generate profit so i show you the trading rules how it's working all the condition everything and then we create a trading bot for it i was showing the back test and then i mentioned if you want to get this bot for free you just need to sign up with our partner forex broker company but then there is the question how to install how to do the back test optimization and how to run it on the live account this is what exactly we will talk in our today's video so let's start for the installation in your trading platform so after sign up with my partner broker company i will send you this kind of file this is file for metatrader 5 what's the difference for metatrader 5 it will be ex5 for metatrader 4 it will be ex4 so how to install it i will open my metatrader 5 then i'm going to file open data folder then i will go to mql5 folder then experts then advisors and then i need to copy this file that i will send it to you and then i should pass you see my file it's already there it's one good trade after that it's better to close your trading terminal and then open it one more and then after like refreshing your program you will be able to see it in the left corner this is the top calling navigator then we are going for expert advisors advisors and we will be able to find this bot you see one good trade after that after that we are going to our second step this is how to do the backtest and optimization and we should open this tab calling strategy tester and single when we open our strategy tester we can do these two things optimization or the back testing what does it mean optimization and why we should do this optimization this is the way of evaluating trading strategy or the bot if it, how it was working in the past on the past market data so for this example let's say i send you trading bot one good trade and it's working good for the bitcoin on time frame h1 because we can option to choose which kind of time frame we want to use then custom period of time from 2022 until almost let's check until almost today a forward no zero latency modeling I'm recommending to use open price only because we are not running for exact exact numbers because some people can, might tell you that you should uh, upload for every tick trading strategy but if even if you will open uh, 10 broker companies and you will uh, check their ticking data all of them has different data so for us open prices is more than enough for example here we will put the deposit two thousand dollars and the leverage depends on your forex bro broker company and your trading account if you have a leverage one to five hundred put one to five hundred so and let's run the back test 
and then we can see okay so this is how it was working for the bitcoin from the beginning of 2022 then we are going for the back test because how we can evaluate by numbers correct so there we are paying attention on the numbers and the most important point for us this is the difference between net profit and the maximum drawdown this point calling recovery factor so this is the difference you know like ratio between the total net profit we are dividing on the maximum drawdown in this case we have 832 it's supposed to be by books you know they are mentioning there that recovery factor should be every time higher than two for my personal opinion recommend recommendation i will accept trading strategy where recovery factor is like higher than four in this current situation seven thousand three hundred thirty seven dollars the maximum drawdown was 832 dollars and recovery factor for us you see 8.81 so it's really really high also we should pay attention on the total trades i'm not recommending to take the trading strategies that trading in the market less than let's say 100 trades per year you know so the more active trading strategy that more better market data will be for us and then we can see okay we can pay attention on the profit trades on the sharp ratio and many many other criteria but the most important if you don't have experience for you it's enough what's the net profit what's the maximum drawdown and ratio between them and it's calling recovery factor but for example okay for the bitcoin it was working really really nice but we want to use this trading strategy for the let's say gold and if we will choose uh, we will use the same settings but we will go to choose the gold let's say we are choosing gold yes the same period of time everything is the same then we will do the back test and we can see the chart wow the chart is not very nice you know so we can go to the back test it's made to two thousand dollars but the drawdown in this current situation was three thousand two hundred thirty nine so our recovery factor you see even less than one we can't accept this trading strategy you know but what does it mean is it bad most probably no because the setting what i was showing you before was prepared exactly for the bitcoin and as i mentioned you in every my video that we can't compare like some of the instruments let's say bitcoin and gold they have a totally different volatility the way how it's moving you know and the criteria and the settings of the same trading strategy might be totally different but how we can understand what kind of settings should we use for this trading strategy this is exactly optimization is about so right now i will show you how to do the optimization what is the main difference between the back test and optimization for the back test we need to just ev evaluate the strategy if it's working or not and maybe for you you can tell me alex this is very bad chart of the equity for me i will tell you wow it's very nice because it will it show us that trading strategy is working you know for the settings for the settings that especially was made for the bitcoin it's trading on the gold also with the Plus, but then we use optimization to adjust the settings because let's say if we are putting take profit 10 pips maybe for euro dollar it will be good but for the gold it will not work the same with 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 the stop loss but what kind of stop loss we should put let's say for gold maybe 10 pips maybe 50 maybe 100 maybe 200 that's why we will use optimization so first of all i will choose the gold time frame h1 the same custom period of time when you will have this follow the bot you can do any kind of optimization then i will go for optimization type i will choose fast generic algorithm and then this is criteria based on what you will do this all optimization what do you want to see the balance max the maximum profit the minimum drawdown the recovery factor if you are using metatrader 5 i'm recommending you to choose this complex criterion max and for my bots we create our own criteria calling custom max where we are counting recovery factor uh, trades uh, how it's working if it's generating profit every month or no because we are taking some equities so you will use this bot and you can do the same you can put custom max. then we are going for the inputs to understand more you should watch the previous video to understand the logic of the strategy so sometimes when uh, people sending me trading bots that they bought in the internet and asking alex tell me your opinion i can't say because i don't know all the settings 
for the bots that we are creating i know all these small criteria what they are answering for so let's go here we will put the time because the strategy opening uh, position in exact time will put from zero until 23 step one then we are going for the fast moving average we will put from 20 until 100 so it will check for us all these moving averages in this like range but i'll put the step five i'm not recommending to, st to put step one because it will be over optimization sometimes i saw some trading bots there are a lot of the settings result is really 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 wow and then i'm telling him please change for me the settings of let's say bollinger bands from 20 period to 21 and it changing results at all you know so that's why we should be carefully about over optimization so let's say for the slow moving average i will put even like 10 step from 50 to 200 then we are going to atr period from 20 step 10 uh, until 100 then position starting volume i will put 002 then position volume multiplier so i highly recommend you to watch previous video because you will understand what does mean position volume multiplier we can multiply our position if we took a stop loss but maximum four times maximum from two until let's say four with range one multiplier from one it, it means we will not be multiplying at all step 0 0.5 until two so we're just checking three options of multiplier one so it will open the same position 1.1 or maximum two position stop loss from two until 10 so this is based on the eight atr we will have atr multiplying for some things and then we'll put the stop loss and the take profit yes done two to one and this is it you know so it's very short cri criteria and then we have fast and we are clicking on the start it start doing for us optimization it will take just 20 seconds and it will show for us the results so optimization already finished and then i can go to optimization results and i can see a lot of the different results and let's say the first result for me is already working so the final profit 5530 with the maximum drawdown you see we can see exactly here recovery factor 8.82 407 trades let us check how it works on the chart and you see it's beautiful you know so it's totally different and we can use the setting for trading our gold so right now it's very important if we satisfied with the results of this setting because we are going for the backtest we can see total net profit with starting volume 002 5500 dollars maximum drawdown was 627 dollars what we should do right now it's to save this setting so we are clicking right bottom of our mouse save and then we're going let's say our gold this is what we prepared and let's say we will put number two and save and right now we will run it on the real account for example you did all the necessary back tests and you decide that you want to run this trading bot on the real account in this current example that i show you right now we will run two settings one that we prepared for the gold and the second one this is the for the bitcoin that i showed you in the beginning of this video so what we will do right now if we want to run it first of all we need to make sure that algo trading is turning on so we are going to we can click here or we can go for tools options expert advisor allow algo trading and allow ddl imports yes you see it's already green here so we can easily run our bots then we are going for the one good trade bot putting it on the chart and then we need to upload our settings that we prepared so let's say we're going for the low out i'm using the mac so it's a little bit complicated to find the files but if you are using windows you can just locate your settings on the desktop and you can easily upload it for your metatrader but let me do this for the mac program files metatrader 5 mpl file then we are going for uh, profiles and we can see there's tester remember we save it for the gold option number two open and okay very important if you are running few bots on your chart you see it's already we have a blue color it means it's already running but today is the Sunday, so it will not start trading right now but anyway we'll be able to see ex everything here then we are going for the bitcoin you see it's already calculated it's start drawing for us our two moving averages and also it will notify it where will be the, the signal 
very very important point if you want to run two settings or three or five this is by the way one more uh, benefit of the trading board that you can five run 55 bots on the run trading account but very important thing that you need to pay attention on this is the uh, magic number because by magic number bots identifying uh, like trades of themselves so let's say here you see position magic number i put 777 what i will do right now when i will install for the bitcoin so the same one good trade here then we're clicking load that i need to do again all this difficult road to find the settings metatrader 5 mqn5 uh, profiles tester i will run for one good trade for the bitcoin again we can change even here our position volume but i find position volume but just what i will change i will put 888 so in that current case my bot on another window will be able to identify his trades and then i'm putting okay this is it it's already counted and it will start trading immediately on my account so this is what you need to do if you want to do the back test optimization and run the bot on the real account i hope guys that you enjoyed this video if you interest in this topic more optimization backtest creating trading bots please leave the comments in under this video because i will be happy to make more tutorial videos like that thank you very much for watching this video and see you in our next one